Friends, I want us to see this. Just as Isaiah saw it, Isaiah beheld Jesus, and in the face of Jesus' holiness and majesty, he cries out, Woe is me! I am damned, because I am a man of unclean lips, and I dwell in the midst of a people of unclean lips. Because my eyes have seen the King, the Lord of hosts, In the church, it is considered repugnant to even think of ourselves as needy sinners and of God as an absolutely holy God. That isn't the thing that circulates the church. Instead, we are just conversant with God. He's our buddy. He's our best friend. God is just a kind of, ultimately, a safety net in a life which otherwise, I, I really see it, we, we're content to live on our own. If we want to get to heaven, we'll do whatever we have to do. If it means, you know, coming to church on Sunday morning, okay, I'll do it. And I'll accept Jesus. We do all this with very little concern for Him. Why should we ever let woe is me even touch our lips? I think that that's what I hear all the time. The answer, friends, is simple. We should be in reverence and awe and, yes, even woe because God is so holy that even a hint of pride or arrogance or sin of any kind is worthy in and of itself. It's worthy of hell. Because of God's exaltation and His glory, we should cry out against our indifference. We should weep for our carelessness of attitude. You know, I'm okay because I'm a Christian and ultimately it doesn't matter what I do, especially if we believe in eternal security, which is not a biblical doctrine. The doctrine the perseverance of the saints. God enables us by his spirit to persevere. He's not a security blanket. We should not look at him or our life that way.